His name is Grax. His name is Grax. He's doing a vlog in the car. So yeah, everybody's going, Grax Bishop, we want a car vlog! And I'm like, yeah, okay, but I don't have a need to actually drive, so why do I need to do a car vlog? Well, now I'm driving. And it's not because of you. It's because I'm going to Michael Bell's place. Michael Bell, Andy and I are getting together this weekend to do one of those gosh for saying called AGM. And AGM is when the three of us get together to try and do some RG related business, comedy related business, podcast related business, but it turns out to be usually just hanging out, being with friends and, you know, having generally a nice time. But this time will be different because we, the three of us, will be performing at the Superpod podcast experience this March, March the... Sunday, March the 8th? 7th? 8th, I have to double check that. Oh God, I've got a shitload of time to catch up, I'm really late. Um, yeah, so we'll be performing on that, and we need, and we're in the process of going through Michael's home and writing it out, the show, in more detail, making sure that we got what we want, and just getting it fin finalized and finished so that for the next four weeks, five weeks, we can actually go call each other every week and do a dress rehearsal and just perform and practice, practice, practice. That's the plan for this weekend. And then the other thing is like, okay, so what else are we going to be doing? Uh, we're also going to be doing a little bit of a quick vlog, which is what this is right now, but also we are going to do a stream on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Bishop. Ideally, what I would like to do is talk about me so we can do an episode of what's going on Grax, which is fine. Which is good. I got a couple of things to talk about. Well, I only got one thing to talk about, which is my holiday in Cyprus. And so there's that. And then afterwards, I'm going to do strip Twitch stream a game. And I do have a game in mind, but the thing is, I don't know if it's going to work. We all decided that we were going to give me a chance to play Football Manager 2000 and, uh, 2005. But the thing is, the game is so odd, I don't know if it's going to work. You may or may not know this, but it requires a tremendous amount of equipment. Well, that's not quite true, but it does require a bunch of equipment to make sure that you can actually do a stream. You need a laptop. You need an Elgato capture card. You need some webcams. You need a microphone. You need a bunch of cables. And you need something to run the game. So now with me, I have got myself, I believe, everything that I could potentially need to do a stream. I brought myself my laptop, I bought my Xiaomi laptop because that's new and it's slim and it's portable and it's powerful enough to run the game, uh, streaming service. Then I've also got my old Novatech laptop which is a heavy motherfucking beast because this is the backup plan, right? So the backup plan is if it doesn't run on my Xiaomi laptop, I'm going to run on my old Novatech laptop. So the Novatech laptop will be the gaming system which will connect to my Elgato capture card, which will connect to my Xiaomi laptop, which will connect to stream um, Twitch. And then I also brought my Chewy laptop, which is a pile of shit, but works well enough, what's provided is plugged in. It works well enough so that you can see the chat, which is what I use. I also got up three tripods because I've got two webcams to come along to point at various people because I want to try something new. We may just I'm using one webcam, but I want to have options. I've also got my two microphone stands. I've got my two mic stands. Uh, to connect to my Blue Yeti mic, which is connected to one of those uh, cradles, just in case we need it. And I've got a shit ton of cables, which includes, uh, which includes three HDMI cables, a whole bunch of U micro USB cables, connects, also connects to a Ethernet cable, a fucking network cable, just in case, because we don't know if Michael has these cables. What else? I've also brought my studio lights because just in case and the reason why I bought my studio lights is because it all fits in nicely with my green screen box my big old box which I have my green screen which is a green felt material blanket essentially and with crocodile clips crocodile clips uh, clamps and uh, a metal frame to hold the whole thing up yep and I've also got my DSLR camera just in case but I don't have a small bag for DSLR so I bought my big backpack which contains uh, all these different things, which includes my two zooms, a box full of batteries, an extra lens, uh, a couple of mini tripods, and uh, the right cable to make sure it all connects up. 
which is all in a backpack because I don't have a smaller bag for my DSLR. Uh, what else did I bring? I also brought a box of stuff, a box of cables and all these kind of stuff. Yeah, so I had to do like three trips to bring everything into this nice ass Nissan Note car, which is not a ladies car. Look, just because the previous one owner, the previous owner was an old age pension lady who was very, very careful, and at the time we bought this was only 12,000 on the clock, does not make this an old lady's car. It doesn't. Oh yeah, I also got the equipment needed to do a, a, a car vlog, which is like, um, I don't know what you call it, a car sucker mount, so that I can mount on my uh, Yee Action Cam 4K with my Rode microphone, with my Zoom Cam uh, 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 recording device on this little tripod thing. So I got all this shit, and I carry all this stuff because I'm slightly mad. I'm slightly crazy because I'm into making videos and shit. Andy, right? Andy, all he has to do coming in all the way from his home on the train, all he needs is a backpack, and a backpack and a Mac, and maybe a pair of, I don't have any spare clothes. This is what I'm wearing. Fortunately, we're only staying for one night, so I don't need to change the clothes. I mean, we'll get sweaty and smelly, but then I'll just come back home. I, did, I bought a toothbrush, bought a toothbrush because, you know, I gotta keep my teeth nice and clean. But why do we have all this stuff? Because you don't know what other people have. I can't rely. Uh, oh God, I've had this big discussion with Viv about this. It's like, she gets really stressed out. She gets really stressed out when I bring a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. And then I go, what? She gets really stressed out about it and I don't really know why. It's, it's almost like she feels like she has to, you know, get involved somehow, but she doesn't. She doesn't need to help me bring all the stuff to the car, but she did, thank you very much. That was really, really kind of you, especially when you're sick today. So she gets stressed that I carry all this stuff, but I need all this stuff. And I tried my hardest to bring it down, boil it down to the barest of minimum. And it's like, look, if you don't use any of this stuff, Greg, you're fucking dead. It's like, I know she's joking about that kind of stuff. It's like, whoa, why? Why are you getting angry about my, my, my burdens? It's weird. And so I was like, okay, I, I've had to pack all this stuff up, and now I'm driving in over to Michael's house, and Viv's is back at home, uh, not feeling particularly well because she's got the cold. She picked up the cold that I had, not the coronavirus, not the coronavirus. It's just a cold because it's the cold that I've had, and I picked up from somebody at work before I went on holiday to Cyprus. And it infested and stewed when I was in Cyprus, and then it like made itself known when we got back. And I was a bit, a bit, a week, and feeling a bit stiffly and a bit coldy. And now I've left to get out, and now I've gone to Michael and Andy's house. But here's the thing, right? I've actually, I've actually gave her the chance to say, stay with me. Like weeks and weeks ago, because I, I, just like weeks and weeks ago, I suggested this date because I didn't see the calendar. And I realized I've double booked myself. I've double booked myself. Because today is Andy and Michael, the AGM, and it's also uh, Chinese New Year. It's also Burns Night, coincidentally, but no one cares about that. And I was like, look, I'm sorry. I was like, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll rearrange it. And she's like, no, no, that's fine. I, I want you to go. Which is very kind of her. But I know she's got, she's just like at home, relaxing. Uh, watching some TV and uh, Netflix and uh, playing some PlayStation 4. I'm sure she'll be okay. And I will check up on her to reassure her that I am actually doing some work with Andy and Michael and not just fucking around. You might think me a bad person, leaving my girlfriend for the boys, even my girlfriend who's ill. I bought her some oranges and I bought her a croissant from Lidl. I made sure that she had enough milk before I left, okay? So she's fine. And she's got enough breakfast, she's got enough food. She's fine, it's, 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 look, it's okay, I, I don't feel guilty. I feel a little bit guilty, I do feel a little bit guilty, but we've got to get the show done. And the thing is, we've been putting off this AGM for months, so it's all good. We go there, we work, at, work, 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 and we're gonna make sure that we get the best show that we can do in about a month's time and uh, it'll be good to catch up with the boys. So I'm looking forward to it. 
even though I am running a little bit late. Which goes back to the previous point of, this is a car vlog! These things take time to set up. And I even screwed up the setup because, you know, I should have the camera here, and I should have the microphone here, but I don't. But, oh well, we'll see how it looks. We'll see how it looks.